Hey guys, Kildare here, and today I'll be looking at the build I use for Sergeant Hammer, which I would call the Artillery build. But first, let's have a look at our moves. Her Q is Spider Mines. Plant 3 mines to deal damage and slow an enemy by 25% for 1.5 seconds. This move, along with most of her moves, are to be used defensively, allowing Hammer to get away from her enemies. Keep in mind that the duration is pretty long, so you can have 6 to 9 mines out at a time. They do cost a bit of mana, however, Hammer does not really spam her abilities, so dishing your mines out pretty much constantly won't affect you too much, but this also depends on how good you are at your positioning. Her W is Concussive Blast. Deals damage in a short cone sort of shotgun effect and pushes enemies back. Once again, this is not a move that should be used aggressively unless you feel safe to do so. It as well serves as a way to get Hammer out of trouble. Good to use on a group and give you some breathing space, or buy some extra seconds to finish off some enemies. If possible, depending on the scenario, try to save this move if after the enemy has used their gap closer. So for example, Illidan uses the Q to get to you. Her E is Siege Move. Become a mobile, but increase attack range by 90%, deal 25% splash damage, and 30% bonus damage to non-PvP targets. This move is the defining point for any Sergeant Hammer, and is pretty much be your only offensive move. Despite only needing auto attacks to do all of your damage as Sergeant Hammer, this can be pretty tricky to play. An extremely important aspect of playing Hammer is your positioning. Excuse the pun, but despite being a tank, Sergeant Hammer is not tanky at all. Getting your positioning down pat and thinking about all possible ways the enemy can get to you and find ways around this is what makes the difference. Keep in mind that Hammer's e-mobility is very easily countered, so in ranked, if you assess the enemy team to be low risk and you are the final pick in ranked and you're confident ha with Hammer, then go for it. But if you're first pick and you lock in Hammer, you're probably going to have a bad time. A lot of heroes can easily beat Hammer, since your team will most likely try their best to protect you as you are the main source of damage at times. If your team is easily broken per se, it will be harder to survive than usual. Main heroes that can make a bad day for Hammer are Stitches, Nova, The Butcher, Tyrael, Diablo, Kerrigan, and Illidan. However, having a good team can counter them, particularly if you are allied with uh, Uther or Lieutenant Morales, and have good frontline heroes like Joanna. Your heroic ability, which is your R, is a choice between Napalm Strike, deal damage on impact in the area that leaves a damaging aura on the impacted zone for 4 seconds, or Blood Force Gun. After a short delay, fire a large missile across the battlefield, dealing large damage to enemies in its path. Both choices are pretty good, but it also depends on the map. Personally, I think for maps like Haunted Mines and Cursed Hollow, which are maps with a lot of tight pathways, the Blood Force Gun is better. However, in every other map, I would recommend Napalm Strike, which is better for clearing non-PvP targets and also serves as a deterrent for when the enemy get gets too close to you. Napalm Strike is good as it's a little extra damage, with only a 6 second cooldown, however spamming it will drain your mana pretty quickly. Depending on the situation, it can be worth it. We also have Hammer's trait, which is Artillery, which increases the damage enemies take from a distance by 30%. I'm not exactly sure how far the exact distance is, but I think it stops affecting the enemy at about the halfway point of your maximum distance in Siege Mode. Since Hammer is a tank, she does not have a mouth, but rather thrusters which increase your movement speed, but at the cost of a cooldown. This is both a blessing and curse for Hammer. This does give you one more way to escape the enemy, and, at times, it will be your main way of escaping the enemy. However, you lack a mount and must get to all your destinations via walking speed, which can be very consequential when fighting for objectives and you arrive late, particularly because Hammer needs to be there first in order to set up and allow her team to work around her and deter the enemy. For Tier 1, I recommend Advanced Artillery, which increases the damage bonus of your artillery by 10%, boosting it up to a 40% bonus. I find that the other three options are very unappealing. For Tier 2, I would recommend either Focused Attacks, which increases your damage for one auto attack by 75% with a 10 second cooldown, every auto attack reduces the cooldown by one second, or Vampiric Assault, which gives your basic attacks 15% lifesteal. This one also depends on your team composition and how much they are focusing you. If you have a dedicated healer on you, then definitely go for focused attacks, particularly if it is the medic or ether. 
However, if you end up in a team that does not even have a support, then your own survivability might be the better choice. Also note that the splash damage also heals you. It isn't much, but it still counts. For tier 3, once again, you have a choice depending on your team, which is... First Aid. Pretty self-explanatory. It heals you, of course, which can really help you at times, but don't think that this will save you when you are being bursted down and Hypercooling Thrusters, which reduces the cooldown by 10 seconds and is always active around your altar. This can allow you to use your thrusters more often either to get away from the enemy or from point A to B, and also helps you get to places faster after you hurt since Hammer will normally be the one straggling behind since she has no mount. Tier 4, which is your heroic ability, like I said before I would recommend Napalm Strike unless you're on Cursed Hollow or Haunted Mines, to which you would choose Blood Force Gun. Tier 5 depends on how much you are being focused. If they are actively going for you and getting some attacks off, then Giant Killer is the way to go. However, if your team is pretty good at defending you, or they just aren't focusing you, First Strike is a pretty good ability, but only if in said scenarios. Otherwise, it becomes absolutely useless. For Tier 6, which is very crucial, I would pretty much always recommend Graduating Range. While in Siege Mode, your basic attack range increases by 20% every 3 seconds up to a maximum of 100%. This is a very important move to Hammer, as it helps with the way she is played. The further away you can hit the target, the better and safer you can be. This move can annihilate enemy teams over objectives and cause disarray. But of course, just because you have this does not mean that you cannot let up on your positioning. However, if you are new to Hammer and you do not have the positioning down pat quite yet, then maybe go for Hover Siege Mode. I would not recommend using this for, for long, because whenever I see someone get the talent, I immediately face bomb. But we all have to learn the ropes somewhere. And last, and certainly not least, with a 100% pick rate from me, I'd go Nexus Frenzy. It increases attack speed and range by 20% something that is key for Hammer and does wonders for focused attacks talents. Have this build and a medic by your side with a stim drone and you will invoke terror upon the enemy. Well guys, thanks for watching. Always remember there is no one perfect build out there. I always encourage you to go out there and make your own builds and play with what's comfortable for you. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment and let me know what your thoughts are or your own builds. And if you haven't subscribed, give it a shot and you might like what else I have to offer. Have a good one. Thank you.